Hey guys, welcome to Trinity's Training Page. This is our question of the day portion. Uh, sometime back whenever we uh, first started the Trinity page, uh, we were getting a lot of questions on you know different types of blinds and things we run. Uh, one of the uh, one of the real important maintenance drills that we run here at the kennel with our with our bigger dogs is called a gradient blind drill. And uh, I was just going to kind of do a quick explanation of, of what we do with this drill. What this drill does is it teaches your dogs a lot of different things about running blinds. Um, one of the main things that it teaches is it teaches them how to gradually, uh, how to, how to uh, get better and better at angling in and out of channels and angling across the road and stuff like that. But one of the first the first parts of this drill that we do uh, you'll have to kind of forgive my artwork here but uh but this is uh this is my road that i've got that comes off of the highway down to the kennel it's about 1500 feet from the kennel to the road um, and we have a gate up at the front but uh, this drill takes place on a on a good portion of that road um, this first blind your dog will be square square getting on the road square getting off the road and blind one is about oh i'd say 50 yards from the dog over here where the d's at to blind one and uh again i'll run these with the uh, white blind stakes bless you and uh anyway once i get blind one going pretty good which usually happens pretty quick um then i'll run blind two and blind three, blind four, and blind five. I don't do a whole bunch of repeating on these blinds in the same in the same day. Um, what I like to try to do is just come out and and run one, two, three, four, and five. I like to run these the first time I run them with a the dog. I like to come out and run them about three days in a row. And you're going to get lots of handling on these blinds here, okay? Um, but you'll see your dogs gradually get better at, at angling across the roads. And what I try to do here uh, mentally with this, and you can do it with flags if you want to, I try to have, have two spots picked out that my dogs must hit to be successful at this blind, okay? You know, of course, I don't want them to be south of that flag or north of that flag, and that's going to make them square. You may have, I don't know if you can see those dots very good, but anyway. Um, but, and the same thing here. Your dogs will tend to come up to this road and square this way, okay? And they'll start that back in here. So I want to make sure that I've got a, an entry point and an exit point on each one of these blinds. I don't want them to be, you know, I don't want them to be below this or above that. I don't want them to hit the road and then try to run the road but I don't want them to square the road early either. Um, so I try to pick me out a couple couple of things. Um, you know, you can put it on either side, just, just so you know kind of mentally where you want that dog to be. And you keep running these. We do these about once a week here, um, and the dogs get really, really good at it. And then you, we go to a hunt test or whatever, and you know, we, we run into these sort of things. You're going to run into this at a hunt test. You're going to have to run across a road, angle down a road, or a cow trail. I mean, this, you know, we're using a road here that's 12 feet wide, big enough to drive a, a regular vehicle down. But I mean, you could take this and it could be a cattle trail. We have a lot of cattle trails at hunt test here in Texas to contend with. Uh, it could be a two track dirt road. It could be, you know, if you were running at a hunt test somewhere where they had a gravel road, like in a park or something like that, you know. And even when you're out hunting, you know, the way this works in a hunting scenario is if, you, if you're out hunting in South Louisiana in a rice field, you're going to have combine tracks down through there somewhere. And I guarantee you, them dogs are getting them combine ruts and they'll, they'll head to Mississippi before you get them stopped if you don't watch them. You need to teach them how to angle across those things and become a better test dog, a better hunting dog, just a better dog in general. It's all about obedience here, okay? And they're, they're learning how to angle across this road. Now, we do the same thing here. This is a drawing here 
of my channel pond. This is the pond that we start teaching lots of concepts and things for dogs about marking ins and outs and channels and you know getting on and off of points and just lots of different things. And this pond from here to here, it's about 150 yards. And you know, basically from the top to the bottom, it's probably 75, you know, from the bottom of this channel to the top of these fingers, about 75. But, but anyway, this is another drill that we do here quite a bit, the, blade, the gradient blind drill on the water. Uh, we got a little corner cheater here on blind one, and I mean literally, it's, it's, it's not 10, 10 yards from blind one to the dog. And then we want to teach them to get in here and angle in and slide past a point and then angle out uh, to this blind. Um, and then the next thing, we want to come right from the same mat. I like to run all these off of the same mat. And I want them to, to get in. It, you know, it's a little, little less of an angle getting in. But then they got to just catch the end of this point and swim a long angle across the channel and angle out to get to the bird. And then the last blind that we run on this is you pretty much, it's not perfectly square, but it's pretty close. Square here, square there, square here, touch the land, long angle swim and square out. Uh, you, what you get on this one is these dogs, they'll square, square, and if you're not careful, they end up right down here, okay? And you're recalling a little bit and then you're casting in. But, the, the, the bottom line is, is the more you, the more you do these, the better your dog's going to get at it. Um, I'll try to kind of do a little extra here for you. Uh, another way you can run gradient blinds is uh, you'll have to use, kind of use your imagination. If this was a, say a heel, okay, and you were at the bottom of the heel, all right? Um, I, I hope you guys can kind of imagine that. I'll kind of do that and see if that'll help it. This is kind of a kind of a heel. I don't know if you guys, like I told you, I'm not much of an artist, but okay. Now, if I've, if I've got my dog at the bottom of this hill right here, and I can teach a blind that's straight up the hill, okay? And then I come down here and I can put another blind and he's gonna have to hold the, he's gonna have to hold the hill actually running uphill at an incline and then we, you come down here and you come down here. So you you got straight up the hill, then you got an angle, more of an angle and more of an angle, okay? Now when your dog gets good at going uphill, then you just kinda, kinda reverse it with him. I do this up at, I go up and train up at Pin Oaks, up in Bonham, or actually in Ravenna. Uh, Scott and uh, Alice Carruth are gracious enough to let me come up there and use their property occasionally and they've got some huge levees by their CL2 pond. I'll run it on one in the morning. I'll go out and I'll set up these gradient blinds and we'll run up a hill. And from here to here might be 350 yards, okay? It's, it's a long, long, long levees, okay? Um, I'll, I'll run it from here in the mornings and angle up and then I'll do my work or whatever. And then before I go home in the evenings, before I quit, I'll move over to the other side. And I'll put my dog up here and I'll do a blind, a blind, a blind, and a blind. And now we're running downhill, a little bit more of an angle, a little bit more of an angle, a little bit more of an angle. You can move your dog down here and you, you know, you can put your blinds up here and you can angle up, angle up, angle up, angle up, hold a line, hold a line, all those are gradient blinds. You know, you're you're teaching your dogs how to how to take take the the proper line no matter what you're presenting on this hill or these ponds or whatever. Those are those are what we we call gradient blinds. We're teaching the dogs to to angle, to hold a line no matter what that factor is, and you're just teaching it in little little increments. You're making it, basically, you're making it a little more difficult. Every blind is a little more difficult than the last. So I, I wanted to go back and answer that. That question was one of the questions that we had way, way back when we first started Trinity's page. I, I can't even remember who, who asked the question, but I told that person that I'd get to that at a later date. 
and I didn't really have any place to draw it out. And the last two or three questions I've done, I've done on this whiteboard. We uh, actually had it over in the shop and went and got it and nailed it up on the back of the force fetch table, and it's serving a pretty good purpose. But anyway, who uh, I appreciate you uh, asking that question. I hope this uh, kind of stuff helps you guys out. I know it doesn't have a lot to do with the Trinity page, but uh, you know it. I mean, it does have to do with dog training, and you know, given enough time, Trinity will be here one day running gradient blinds. But, uh, but anyway, I just I thank you for your question. I appreciate you joining us, and I hope this has helped somebody today. I'm gonna go get Trinity, and we're gonna get her training.